Hello guys, Armando here from Armstinas Cookies. Um, I'm the Armando in the Armstinas part, the arm, and uh, and I'm here to show you how to 3D model your own cookie cutter design. So we currently have three different 3D printers. Two of them right here are the Creality CR10s. These retail for $400. Uh, we got ours off of Amazon. I'm sure a lot of other retailers sell them as well. And our third 3D printer, which was actually the first one we ever got, is a Robo R2. So the software and online uh, websites I use are all entirely free. I'll show you how to use them. For this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it the simple way of the older design. And then I'll do another video in the near future showing how to have complete control over your design, larger handle included. So I use our MacBook Air. In terms of software needed, the two programs which are free to download are GIMP, which is a free photoshopping software, and then the second one is a program called Cura, which is a 3D modeling slicer, which will help get your model ready for your 3D printer. So here I am on Google, and now you gotta think about what you wanna make a cookie cutter of. For this example, I'm going to try to make a pumpkin cookie cutter. So I'm searching pumpkin on Google Images, and I wanna find a pumpkin image I wanna use. So when I do this, I try to find an image that has a big contrast with the background, which will make it easier to Photoshop what you need. And right here, I found. So I like this pumpkin because it's got nice dark colors of the pumpkin itself, and it's completely, uh, it's, it's contrasting heavily with the background, which is all white. So this would be a really good photoshopping uh, image to use, and I'll show you that in a second. So I like this image, I will right click, I will save my image to the downloads. If I open my finder folder, here is the image we just saved. I'm going to right click and I'm going to open it with GIMP. So GIMP, which is this little logo down here, is a free Photoshop software. Um, it might take a little bit to learn how to use a lot of it, but I'm going to show you everything we're going to use in this example. So you got the window that just opened with your image. You've got your toolbar over here and you've got your layers menu over here and all the file stuff. So, what I want to do now is create a silhouette of this pumpkin shape. There's a few ways to do this. You could um, literally grab a paintbrush tool and just use black and you can go and trace around the image, carefully, slowly fill everything in, and that'll get the job done. But I like to go up here into the colors toolbar and I click on the threshold. So this will basically make it a black and white image and this little threshold window pops up with it. So this you can slide around which will make it the whites brighter or you can move it to the right which will make the darks darker. I basically want to move it so I have like the best looking solid border around this. I think this looks pretty good. So I'll press OK, and now my image is this black and white image. But I still need to separate this image from the background. So first off, I'm going over here to this paint bucket tool, paint bucket tool. Then I want to make my background color a different color that's different than the pumpkin. So I click on this black bar, and I usually just choose a red. So I'll click outside of the pumpkin, and that'll create your red background. Then I'll go up and press select in the menu, and then I'll press select by color. So from there, I click on the color I want to select, which in this case, I want to select the background red. So now everything in this image that's that color is selected. So I'll go up and press select invert. And now what that did, everything that was selected, everything that's not this color of red is selected. So by default, this pumpkin is selected and I will Go up, edit, and I will cut that out, which leaves me leaves me a white blank space in the shape of the pumpkin. So I'll turn my selection off, select none, 
And then I'll go back to my paint bucket tool and then I will make the color black now. And then I will just press in this white space and that creates my black pumpkin silhouette, which is pretty much all we need now. So I go to file, export as, and then I will call it pumpkin cutter. And I save it as a JPEG file, which is my preferred, which is .jpg. So I'll press export. A little window will pop up with your uh, export settings. So I'm doing quality 100. And then press export. So now this image should be saved in my downloads folder right here. So the next step is going to a website called cookiecaster.com. So this is build your own cookie cutter in under a minute, literally. So come down here and then here's your workspace. I'm gonna click on this little image icon that says trace. From there, I could click upload an image. So now I will find the image that we just saved and press choose this. And that's gonna bring this up. And then from here, I click on this magic trace tool. And then I'll click inside of the pumpkin shape and that'll automatically create this border around the shape. And then here in this little window is a preview of what the cookie cutter will look like. So down under that, we have download options. So your max size will be the size of your cutter. So right now it's, it's a fault to 3.5 inches. Let's, let's make a, let's make a four inch, a four inch cutter, all right? And then height, height is gonna be the, the, how long the blade cutter is. So it defaults to 6.65 inches, which I think is usually a good size. I don't really go bigger than that. And then thickness is the thickness of the, 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 the cutter part, the blade. And I normally try to keep all of our cutters around one millimeter. They cut nicely into the dough and Christina appreciates it. So if you want to double check, you can go back to your preview. So as you see, the cutter part is thinner than it originally was. and. It looks all set. So I'm going to download this 3D file, which should have saved it in, I'm saving right now. So here it is, cookie.stl. STL is the 3D model. So you could right click on this and press quick look. And as you see, you have the file on your computer now. Okay, so now the last thing we're going to do is open up Cura. Cura is a free software for, it's a slicer software for slicing 3D models to get them prepped for your 3D printer. So right here, this is set to my Creality CR10 printer. So it has the dimensions. And then if you want to look through what my printer settings are, That's my settings, but I am going to so take this STL file, I'm gonna click and drag it into here. And now we have our model in our printer software. All right, the last thing we wanna do is take the memory card out of our printer. I will plug this into the computer, but this is the file name it'll save as, so let's save this as pumpkin cutter. Then we'll click save to remove the drive and it's saved. So we want to eject it now. All right, eject it, we can remove it. And now we are ready to print our model.
All right, looks like it finished. After it cools, it comes right off this glass surface really well. So here is our cutter. Turned out pretty well. You might get little like strands of plastic that go around, but those are easily pulled off. Sometimes you use a little sandpaper and sand it off. We have to do that for a lot of our cutters. So the Cookie Caster website has the smaller handle, as I mentioned earlier, which it has some like give as a result, but it's still fairly durable. It's gonna, it won't easily break on you. Um, like I said, this is the easiest way to start off making cookie cutter models. Uh, the the way I'll show you in our next cookie cutter video, it's gonna have a thicker handle, which will create a more rigid surface, so you it won't have as much give, less stronger, but. Either way, the actual cutter part itself, the blade, it's about the same same thickness, about a millimeter thick, and it cuts into dough pretty nicely. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope this helped you at all if you're interested in any of this behind the scenes tech stuff, especially if you want to make your own cookie cutter. If this behind the scenes like tech stuff doesn't interest you at all, no worries, I understand. It could be boring, it could be a little daunting, I mean, there's still a lot about this stuff I don't know, but I've learned a lot quickly, but that's just how I work. I like doing stuff like this. I'll be working with Christina on a lot more of the actual cookie decorating, baking, making icing, royal icing, consistency, all that stuff. So that stuff's coming soon, but this is our first foray into tutorial world, and I hope you enjoyed it.